Hello and welcome to Seven Sons Aptitude Prep. I am your friend Vinod Prabhu, and today we are going to look at the fourth video on averages. If you haven't watched the first three, it is in the same playlist. I suggest you go to video one and start from there because it will look at all the basic concepts and you look at some basic problems. Okay, this is the fourth video on on averages. We are going to look at two commonly asked question patterns. One is the true or the wrong average okay false average and the other one is the personal replacement now look at what those concepts mean they have, would have given you a wrong average and while calculating some errors have crept in huh? and you have to find out the right average think of your semester exams you have scored 70 in a subject but the person while calculating would have entered it as 50 what happens to your average for that semester it comes down right actual average is higher but because the marks taken are lower the average also becomes lower so it's a wrong average and to correct the average the average has to be increased on the other hand if you have scored 50 and they enter 70 the marks that you've gotten increases your overall average is average is higher to get the correct average you have to reduce uh, from the wrong average Okay, so that is what this says and for a person getting replaced so that's the second concept that we want to look at if a person is replaced you remove that person's age for example and replace it with the age of the person who is substituting him okay two key concepts we'll look at few problems and this concept will get ingrained in your minds in a society okay the, there are 50 children and they've scored 100 marks. Okay, so what is the total mark scored by the children? Total scored. Okay, we have total scored is equal to average into the number of students. Okay, so the total mark scored is 5000. But the one of the kids has scored 10 marks were only taken as 100. So now what has happened to this average? 5000 is the average after making that error so we will replace the mark scored by the student so 5000 is the average from this 5000 we will replace the marks of this student we will re we'll remove 100 because that was the wrong uh, number that was added and we will add 10 because this is his correct mark ok so that becomes 4 9 1 0 Okay, that is the new total. You think of it. 90 marks you have added extra from 10 to 100. These extra 90 marks are added because of the uh, mistake made. So, if you look at it, that those 90 marks have to be subtracted to get the correct average. Okay, so this is our correct average. And, uh, sorry, this is the correct total. And to get the correct average, you divide this by 100. So, your correct average is 49.1. That is what is asked. Let's look at the next problem. Now, in a results application in university, 40 students have taken up some course. Let's look at that as an elective. Average of the marks scored is 50. So, total marks, total marks is 40 into 50. Okay, 2000. Oh, but our friend Sidhu, he has scored 60, but they have entered 20. So what happens to the total marks scored by all these students? You have calf to get 2000, they have calculated Sidhu's marks as 20. Now let us add Sidhu's correct marks and get the average. Okay, Sidhu's correct marks is 2000. From 2000, you remove Sidhu's wrongly entered marks and add Sidhu's correctly scored marks. Okay, so you add a net of 40. So this becomes 2040 and then we divide this by the number of students which is 40. Number of students remain the same way. 51. Average becomes 51. Okay, what's the shortcut here? You've gotten the average as 50. And for 40 students, 40 students, now 40 marks have increased, right? Why is 40 marks increased? Instead of 20, it is 60. So the difference is 40 marks. So for 40 students, if 40 marks increases, the average increases by plus 1. So 
again 51 okay we subtracted in the previous question it, it the average or the sum became lower that's because the mark scored here is higher than what you have entered so here the average will increase the total will increase hmm? let's look at the next one the average here is 51 during the census, a careless data tabulator is someone who enters data, right? Calculates the average age of a society of 10 people as 50. So the average age in this society, average age is 500 based on the data entered. This is wrong. Now, he rechecks and finds that there are some changes. So from 500, let us correct it. For one person, he's entered 28 instead of 22. Okay. So you replace the wrong age and enter the correct age and for another person she is entered 2 instead of 18 which means you replace the wrong age enter the correct age okay when you do this you do 500 this is minus 6 and this is plus 16 so so the net is 10 hmm? you can add you will get the same answer 510 it becomes 510 total so this is total age this total, so this total age is 510, which is the correct one. You divide that by 10 people, and the average is 51. Now, the same question, which has another data. Okay, what is the new? We will solve it in two ways. The same way, now you have gotten these values are same 28 instead of 22 and 2 instead of 18. Okay, so the correct total is. 510 which is what we got in the previous one but now there is a third error okay third person she has entered 5 instead of 50 so you remove the wrong value add the correct value and divide it by same number that will be your average here okay why have you done this let me explain 510 we got from the previous number right that was the total age Total age in the previous problem is 510. We write 510 because this value and this value is the same for two people. But there is a third person whose age has to be corrected. Now this person, she's entered 5. You replace the wrong age and enter the correct age and divide it by the total number to get the average. So we have average age 510 plus 45, 5, 55 by 10, 55.5. I would have solved it in the shortcut by this method. Now I know when I solve this and this, I know my average is 51. Now there should be an addition of 45 because 5 will get subtracted and 50 will get added. So an addition of 45. So when you add 45 and there are 10 people, so the average increases by 45 by 10. 51 plus 4.5. 45.5. This is the conventional way. This is the shortcut. You can follow any approach that is convenient for you. Let's look at another problem. Hmm? In the Indian cricket team, the average age of the playing element. Do not think of what about the substitutes, what about the uh, the person who is injured. No, the people who play on that day, the playing level is 27. So what is their total age? So this is the concept of person replacement. Total age is 27, which is the average into 11. Okay, playing 11. So this becomes 297. A fast bowler, so that is their average total age, right? Fast bowler who is 38 is replaced by a child prodigy who is 16. I put a smiley so people understand who the child prodigy I'm talking about. Uh, we'll get why that smiley is there. So fast bowler who is 38 is replaced. So you remove that person's age minus 38, and then you add the child prodigy's age, which is 16. So, minus 38 plus 16 becomes a minus 22. So, 297 minus 22 is 275. That is the new total age. Okay. After the replacement of the fast bowler. Now, what is the new average? You divide this by number of level. Okay. Because the number of people remains the same. So, when you divide 275 by 11, you get that as 25. What is the shortcut way of doing it? My average age now is 27. Now, now, 
I am replacing 38 by 16, which means 22 it is going lower. For 11 people, if 22 total goes lower, it means 22 by 11, so it has to go lower by 2. 25. If you are comfortable with the conversion method, do it. If you are comfortable with the shortcut method, you do it. How do I do the shortcut method? 27 is my average. Now 38 is replaced by 16, which means the total will go down by 22. I have only got 11 people, which means my average will go down by 2. And hence it becomes 25. Now, a slightly trickier problem. Lal, pal, pal, average age. So let us take that as ABC. So A plus B plus C is equal to their average. Okay, by 3 is 84. So what is A plus B plus C? A plus B plus C is 84 into 3. We have 252. Okay. Now, fourth friend Tilak joins them and average age falls to 80, which means A plus B plus so this is 1. So A plus B plus C plus D. So, when this Tilak person joins them, their average becomes this divided by 4 is equal to 80. So, I multiply 80 with this, you get 320. So, that's my second equation. With this, I get to know what is D. Subtract 2 with uh, and I, as in 2 minus 1 will give you D 68. Okay, so Tilak is 68. Now, now five, fifth friend who joins whose weight is 3 kgs more than Tilak. So this is Tilak. The fifth friend E is 3 kgs more than Tilak. So he will be 71. And Lal is now no longer in the group. So A is no longer there. The average age falls further to 78. Which means B plus C plus D plus E, that average is now 79. So I calculate B plus C and then uh, D plus E we know is 139. Okay, because it is 68 plus 71 plus 139 is equal to 79 into 4 is 316. When you subtract, you will get what is B plus C. B plus C is 139 subtracted from 316. 7, 7, 7, 1. B plus C is 177. A plus B plus C. So, A plus B plus C is 252. Subtract this from this we get A years, 252 minus 177. So in this video we looked at uh, three questions on wrong uh, numbers that are taken in so the average uh, gets wrong and how do you rectify that average and we looked at two problems on replacing people and how the average changes because of that replacement uh, if you want to watch more videos please continue ahead in this playlist uh, if you like this video show us your appreciation in the comment section and like the video uh, share it with your friends and you and your friends can subscribe to the channel as well as click on the bell icon so that you do not miss uh, any update if you want to practice tests and uh, look at company specific tests etc please visit our website sevensandstandard.com and uh, sign up and continue your practice there